No matter what your opinion of the Matrix trilogy is, this movie should entice you. This is one of the greatest concepts to come out during a time when people feared the limits of technology. Whether you loved it or hated it, there was one flaw that really hurt the series. The graphics were crap. But in the field of animation, this is an easily corrected problem. The Animatrix should have been a perfect movie, until I learned that they swapped out the great writing for nothing. Just like the telling, the Animatrix is a mixture of a bunch of smaller stories, so let's analyze each one separately and then belittle the whole thing. Story number one, Final Flight of the Osiris. The fights in the Matrix often have people doing retarded looking jumps and overly flashy moves, and every time I see this I cringe. This is probably the best fight except for the few that Neo fights in and that are done incredibly well. Some of the fighting is flashy, but it's all reasonable. It's like watching a martial arts tournament where everyone is using flashy moves because it shows that you know the technique. Throughout this whole fight I get a sense that this is all really pointless. First of all, the title gives it away that everyone's gonna die. Then if you're like me and watch this after you've seen the trilogy, you know Morpheus plainly states that they're all gonna die. And then they die. Of course they have to... Of course they have to die, but how is really stupid. They run away from a group of sentinels, and end up on the surface where the machines are starting to dig above Zion. And rather than running away as soon as they saw the thousands of sentinels, they have to talk about what the purpose of life is and love, and then crash and burn while being attacked. We know the outcome of this story already. You have to form it around that and make it really good. Really, I wanted to see something original, but they kept in the safe formula. It's not bad, but it could easily be better. Story number two, The Second Renaissance. This one started off to be one of my favorites, but quickly fell into the same category as the last story. We know the machines win, so you have to carve out a great story around that fact. It starts with a single droid killing its master to prevent itself from dying. Androids begin to protest and stuff gets violent and the robots are forced into their own bit of desolate land. Over a period of time, the machine's economy starts skyrocketing and the humans start a war with them. The machines win and start testing on their captives, then the Matrix is built. This is where I have the biggest problem. It is cool to, s to see how the war started and how the sun was blocked out, but it is easily avoidable. Rather than losing the benefits of our sun, for example, nearly everything, they could have developed a way to have an EMP strong enough to destroy all technology on Earth. Who dies? Those who have pacemakers and the few people that are solely attached to technology that it would kill them. The only problem would be that we would lose the ability to produce in the vast quantities and only for a short period of time. They should have made it a very quick process rather than a drawn out war between both sides. It would have made much more sense to blot out the sun as the last effort to stop the machines when most of the humans have already died rather than the beginning of the war. Story number three, Kid's Story. This is the only story where they attempt anything different with the animation style. And on some level it's good, and on another it's ugly and unnecessary. It follows the annoying kid from the second and third movies, and how he gets out of the Matrix. The chase is interesting, and the art does change to the situation, but there's not much to say. It's fun to watch, but it has no real depth other than another piece to the movie. Story number four, Program. The program starts with a woman training in a Japanese setting, infested with samurai and such. Her love interest enter in and practice it with her until he starts going a little crazy and says we're going to go back into the Matrix. They fight and fight until she kills him and then she is pulled from the program. Then she told it was just a simulation and everything is okay. I like it when they deviate from the original movie, but not when it contradicts a lot of concepts implemented really well within the original movies. The Matrix does not force your mind to do anything. It merely manipulates you into believing that you're experiencing something real. So either she's incredibly dumb and fell in love in a matter of seconds, or the program they were using forced you to think something and goes against every former application of the Matrix. Story number five, world record. By far my favorite. It deviates from the movie while still exploring the idea of the Matrix. What happens when you, the greatest run in the world beats the 100 meter dash in under 9 seconds? Well, it wakes him up out of the Matrix. 
is a very slow part of the movie, but it builds up tension that he will cause himself terrible damage to his leg, when in the truth is, it causes him far more psychological trauma. Story number 6, Beyond. There's not much to say. It basically shows what would happen if part of the Matrix starts to corrupt. Nothing happens, but it's fun to see a lighthearted animation that simply wants you to enjoy it. There's not much emphasis put on it because it doesn't have any action, but it personally it's one of my favorites and probably one of the best ones of the film. Story number seven, a detective story. Another bland attachment to the story, but this time no one involved with the movie is incorporated. Though it is more entertaining than some of the other animations, it's still a big waste of time. Story number eight, Matriculated? Do not watch this. This is really boring. Imagine if I talked about one animation for 10 minutes, but rather than being on topic, I started to shout out random colors and letters. You'd hit the unsubscribe button faster than any man before you. That's what this is, a group of people capturing machines and reprogramming them. But reprogramming them isn't simple, like it really would be. It's got to be an artsy experience where they mess with it and then pretend to save its life and really just waste your eight time for about eight minutes. Nothing is worse than this. Not the disregard for canon, not the terrible writing, not the blandness. To waste my time like that was the ultimate insult and it had no point because everybody died at the end and it made no sense. If you hate the Matrix, you're going to hate this. If you love the Matrix, you'll probably be disappointed by this. I know I held a high expectation for this, but I never imagined it would be this bad. The few great animations did not carry the bad, and in the end it's really a massive waste of time. You want more Matrix? Go to some fan fiction, because it's bound to be better than this. Thanks for stopping by, and this has been The Animatrix. Stay tuned for another one! <laughs>